Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This chapter is entitled Public Debt and Budget Part 2. In this chapter we are going to talk about budgets. So we are going to define budgets, then government accounts. After that we are going to find out the features of budgets, their objectives, their components, types of budgets. By the end, we are going to present some model questions you may have in exams. The term budget has been derived from a French word, la bougette, which means a leather bag or purpose. The term budget is com commonly understood as a document presented by a government containing an estimate of proposed expenditure for a given period and proposed means of financing them for the approval of legislation. As per Article 112 of Indian Constitution, the government has to present in the Parliament an annual financial statement showing estimates of revenue and expenditure. This is called the annual financial statement or budget. Hence, government budget is a schedule of all revenues and expenditures that the government expects to receive and plan to spend during the following year. A budget includes financial actions of the previous year, budget and revised estimates of the current year and the budget estimates for the following year. For example, in the budget 2013-2014, there will be the actual estimates of 2011-2012, the budget estimates and revised revised estimates for the year 2012-2013 and the budget estimates for the year 2013-14. The budget is presented in the Parliament by the Union Finance Minister. Similarly, the state governments have also to present the budget in the state legislatures as per Article 2002 of the Indian Constitution. So let's me present some definitions of budget. We can say it's document containing a preliminary proved plan of public revenue and expenditure. Professor Ren Storm, according to Bustables, a budget is at once a report on estimates and proposals that is the instrument by which all the processes of financial administration are correlated and coordinated. Finally, according to Crown and Howard, a budget is a predetermined statement of management policy during a given period, which provides a standard for comparison with the results actually achieved. BAC defines budget as a finance plan and a procedure formulating, authorizing, executing and co controlling this plan and some government authority responsible for each successive step in this procedure. Now let's discover the, the government accounts. We have the consolidated fund, all sums of money, all revenues of the government, the loans raised by it, receipts by way of repayment of loans constitute the consolidated funds. All expenditures are also incurred out of this fund. No amount can be withdrawn from this fund without the sanction of the Parliament, according to Article 2000, sorry, 266. 1. The contingency fund. The fund is placed here at disposal of the President to enable the government to meet the unforeseen emergencies. Prior sanction of the Parliament is not required to spend from the fund. Article 267. Public account. Certain transactions are not included in the contingency fund. They include transactions relating to provident funds, small savings collections, other deposits, etc. The money thus received is kept in public account. This money does not belong to the government. It has to be paid back to the persons and authorities who have deposited it. Hence, parliamentary approval is not required for payments. According to Article 266, 
Paragraph 2. What about the features of a budget? Well, it is a statement of expected revenue and proposed expenditure. It is sanctioned by some authority. Its periodicity generally annual and it prescribes the manner in which revenue is collected and expenditure is incurred. Budget is prepared on cash basis. Rule of lapse. All unutilized funds within the year lapse at the end of the financial year. Realistic estimation. Budget is on gross or net basis. Form of estimate is not is to correspond to accounts and is estimates to be on departmental basis. What about the objectives of a budget? Budget is an important tool of financial administration and an effective means of enforcing fiscal policies. The main objectives of a budget are the following. Reallocation of resources, redistribution of resources, stabilization of resources, sources of information to the public of the past, present and future activities, plans and programs of the relevant governments, tool of government policy, to estimate income and expenditure, an instrument of fiscal policies, basis of public welfare, to ensure financial and legal accountability, and to serve as a tool of management for controlling an administrative efficiency. Now, let's focus on the components of a budget. The government budget is divided into revenue budget and capital budget. Revenue budget or revenue account is related to current financial transactions of the government, which are of recurring in nature. Revenue budget consists of the revenue receipts of the government and the expenditure is met from this revenue. Revenue account deals with taxes, duties, fees, fines and penalties. Revenue from government estates, receipts from government commercial concerns and other miscellaneous items and the expenditure therefore. Revenue receipts include receipts from taxation, profits of enterprise, other non-tax receipts like administrative revenue, fees, fines, special assessment, gifts, grants, etc. Revenue but expenditure includes interest payments, defense expenditure, major subsidies, pensions, etc. The capital account is related to the acquisition and disposal of capital assets. Capital budget is a statement of estimated capital receipts and payments of the government over fiscal year. It consists of capital receipts and capital expenditure. The capital account deals with expenditure usually met from borrowed funds with the object of increasing concrete assets of a material character or of reducing recurring liabilities such as construction of buildings, irrigation projects, etc. Capital receipts include borrowings, recovery of loans and advances, disinvestments and small savings. Capital expenditure includes developmental outlay, non-developmental outlay, loans and advances, and discharge of debts. What about the types of budgets? Based on the balancing of revenue and expenditure, budgets are divided into balanced budget and unbalanced budget. Balanced budget is that over a period of time, revenue does not fall short of expenditure. That is to say, revenue is equal to expenditure. The budget in balance may be due to an excess of expenditure over income or an excess of income over expenditure. In other words, budget may either be surplus or deficit. The budget is said to be surplus when public revenue exceeds public outlay. And a deficit budget means a, a budget when expenditure 
exceeds revenue. Now let me present to you some model questions. One, what is public debt? What are the reasons for incurring public debt? What are the types of public debt? Three, what are the methods of redemption of public debt? Four, what do you mean by a budget? And give some explanations of the objectives of budget. So the responses and answers to these questions were already tweeted in this video. So this is the end of this part. Number three, in the next part we are going to talk about macroeconomics. So thank you very much for your attention.